It's time, it's time, it's time to add to our cash stuffing binder. So come on in and join me adding to our cash stuffing binder. So go ahead and get yours. We're going to be adding to our cash stuffing binder because I know this has been a pay week for some people because it was a pay week for me, a payday for me on my nine to five. So come on in and join me. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. My name is Wanda and this video is going to be on cash stuffing, adding to our our cash stuffing binder, which we should be doing every time we get paid. We should pay ourselves. But this is mainly focusing on emergency money. You know, we should have at least $1,000 saved for emergencies because we never know when they're gonna come. And like I've stated in the past, in past videos, how they were always coming when I had no money. Okay, so that's when I started saying, I need to do something. I need to put away something. I need to sacrifice something. Stop buying, stop shopping. And I don't know right now is the holiday season. Right now, Black Friday is going on. In spite of that, we still need to put away for emergency because we never know we're gonna have one. Okay, so. In today's video, I believe that putting away for emergency is very important, okay? This is not talking about building wealth, which that's important also, because we don't wanna get in our golden years and have to still work. This is a true story. A lady came to me and she, I can't remember if she said she was 78 or 82. I can't remember. But she says to me, my daughter is getting my resume together. And I look at her, I say, resume? She said, yeah, I'm 78 years old or 82. I can't remember the age. It was one of those two. And I thought to myself, resume? She said, yeah. She was looking for a job. And I thought, at 78, 82, whatever her age was, I can't remember. And I thought, I don't wanna be looking for a job when I get that age. And she said she had been working at Dollar Tree and they cut her hours. And I thought to myself, they probably cut your hours because probably because they wanted you to quit. That's what a lot of jobs do. When they don't want, want to get rid of you, what they do, they'll cut your hours so you'll be forced to look for something else. So yes, we should be building wealth, should be putting away. And that's something I am doing. I have two brokerage accounts. Well, actually I have three because I have one, a 401k on my job. But I'm also adding into the stock market. And it's not that hard. If I can do it, you can do it. But, you know, while we're working, or if we have a business, whatever we do, we need to take out some money. And truthfully, um, I started these videos in September, I believe. No, August, September, somewhere in there. And what I was saying I was gonna do is put away a thousand before the end of this year. And I'm on course, I did a video, um, I think, I forgot what day it was. But anyway, I didn't like the video, so I didn't post it. The, the, I think, oh, it was actually November 11th. It was Veterans Day. So I did add to my binder, but I did not post that video because I didn't like it. And my intentions was to redo it, but I work for the U.S. Postal Service and the packages right now are horrendous. Everybody is shopping. The last thing people are doing right now is thinking about saving. They're thinking about shopping and buying. I'm putting in long hours, so I didn't really get a chance to do it over. I had to force myself to do that video. But like I said, um, I didn't really like it. So 
I didn't put it up. So, um, I'm just gonna show you on my calendar. That was on, okay, November the 11th, right here. Okay, it was 50. And like I said, I didn't like the video, so let me post it. So anyway, I did add some in there and I've been trying to redo the video, but I've been, like I said, I've been working a whole, whole lot. Cause right now I still have to work because I still have one more credit card to pay off and a car loan to pay off. And which is gonna be paid off, my, this credit card will be paid off in 2024. Thumbs up. <laughs> So anyway, today, uh, which is going to be uh, November 24th, uh, right here, can you see that? Because this week here was a pay week from my nine to five. And I believe this one up here was from my side hustle and this one was from my nine to five. I can't remember. I have to go back and look at my paydays. But what I try to do is like one week I'll get paid for my nine to five, then the next week I'll get paid for my side hustle. So what I do, I've been trying to take some money out of each one. Now, for real, I could have had this already completed, but I'm doing this video to encourage someone and to motivate them to start saving for emergencies because I know somebody right now in financial ruin they and this person was not wasting money they were good stewards of their money but they just weren't saving any and right now you know they they're an entrepreneur they have their own business but things are just not flowing right now in their business and they had nothing saved we don't want to be in that position I've had some, cause I've been in some positions. It was like, okay, where am I gonna get this money? I don't want to ever be in that position again. And you know, we don't have to be in that position. Like things that we're buying right now for Christmas, a lot of stuff we don't even need. Now I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do because it's your money, but a lot of things that we're buying, we don't even need. I have not bought not one Christmas gift. So anyway, I'm mainly focusing because I have, uh, my plan is to retire in 2025. And uh, like I said, I gotta get this car loan paid off and this uh, credit card, which they're both gonna be paid off before I leave. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking about. And then I can put more into my brokerage account. Okay, so um, uh, this is what we're going to be putting in today. What I'm going to be putting in 20, 40, and 60. Okay, now if you've been watching my videos, you know I like to give myself a emoji sticker, a smiley face. <laughs> We're doing this. And what I did, uh, well, let me, well, let me kind of backtrack a little. This is my binder that I'm using. It's a little bigger than the ones that other YouTubers use that they're, they are ordering off of Amazon and Etsy. Okay, so if you wanna get one of those, that's fine. I just went in Dollar Tree and everything in Dollar Tree now is $1.25 and bought this notebook and these pencil pockets because my thing was, I wanted to put it in something I couldn't see the money. And you know, it actually does work. I haven't touched this bunny and it doesn't even come to my mind. I, after I finish, I put it in a nice safe. 
And then once I get to the thousand, I'm going to put that in the bank and that's going to be for emergency, not trying to build what wealth with this. Okay. And then I'm going to add this to my three to six month emergency fund. You know, that's another thing we should do once we get our thousand dollars. Now, um, I've heard people say, you know, pay off everything first and then do this. Well, I'm not saying that's not a good idea, but for me, I wanted to start putting something aside because those credit cards that I paid off, if I don't put something aside, guess what I'm gonna start doing, doing if I come up with emergency? I wanna use those. And that's the thing, I'm trying to stay out of that and I'm doing a good job, okay? So, like I said, this is something I created and you can do the same thing or you can buy one off Etsy or Amazon. I don't have a link for either one, okay? Like I said, this is what we're putting in. And these stickers here, these colors, emojis, each color represent a dollar amount that I just chose to do. So the $20, the blue sticker represents the $20. So what we'll do is on the 24th, right here, already rolled a 60. If you don't have any emoji stickers or anything like that, you can just write it in. And I already did that, I rolled 60. So I'm just gonna put three blue stickers Two, three. Did everybody have a nice Thanksgiving? I hope you all did. I did. I didn't cook my normal, usual, big Thanksgiving dinner, but I did cook. And then I said I cooked more than I had planned to. Because like I said, I've been working a lot and oh my goodness. I said I'll do the big dinner for Christmas. I usually cook a big dinner for Christmas and a big dinner for Thanksgiving, but this time, oh, cutting up all that celery, bell pepper, and onion for, for my dressing, I just, just couldn't do it. <laughs> I think I make the best dressing in the world. I might do a video on it. But anyway, okay, so, this pocket here is for $100 bills. And let me show you. This is the money that was in there from the previous videos. It's still here. And this is from, this is for the 50s. It's still here. Okay. And these are the 20s from the previous, uh, cash stuffing videos that I did. Okay, so I'll go ahead and add these to that. Okay. Look, y'all, if I can do this, you can too. And these are the tens. Okay. And these are the fives. Yep. Okay, and these are the ones, okay? Now, let's see how much we have all together. I have been kind of writing it in the notes. So I have to go back and count everything. Okay. This is how much I have now. 
okay? And December is in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, we got one more week and then it'll be December. So then we'll have one, two, three, four. Let's see, this is November. One, two, three, four weeks in December. So we need to put in here $380, okay? Actually, I can do this out of one paycheck. But I'm not doing that because this video is to motivate someone that doesn't have that much money. See, all of us don't, you know, I mean, all of us don't have that, okay? I've been on my job 23 years, and I really should have more say than what I have, but I'm making some progress. And everybody don't have that, but what you can do is have some other videos on other kind of ways you can say with change, putting it away, putting away every payday, it adds up, okay? So, just try and do something. And drop me some comments and let me know what you think of this video and what you think of this idea. And let me know if you're doing this or if you've started or if you're going to do this. I would love to hear from you. And I want to take this time and say thank you to everybody who have been giving me comments. I really appreciate it. It's very encouraging because I'm telling you, sometimes you never know. People might feel like giving up. You know, it's not, this is not hard, but it's not easy either. You know, sometimes it can be a little discouraging sometimes. But I'm trying to keep it going. So that's all I have. And I really appreciate you stopping by. And I hope this content is helpful to you. I hope someone out there sees this video and it will help them. Okay, so just we all also keep in mind, emergencies, they come. And we want to be prepared. So thank you for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video. And have a great day.